a 70 Nova. Uh, it's a back half car, which is you know a little bit different from some of the other guys running big tire out here. They're running full chassis cars. This is more of a stock front suspension type deal, but it is a big tire car. Um, it's got a 600 inch all aluminum nitrous motor in it, uh, turbo 400, two speed transmission, um, four nine inch. It's got a, a 34, 13, five tire on it currently that we use for some of the better tracks, which is actually a pretty good track. We will oftentimes go to uh, like actual, I don't wanna say actual no preps, but like airstrip type racing or back of the track stuff, we'll go eighth mile on where it's almost like the pavement we're standing on. We've got a little bit bigger tire for that. Uh, makes it work a little bit better there. Um, so the, the Link ECU with this car is kind of a funny story. So Jason and I wired the car um, and we started getting everything dialed in. And the, the funny part about it is you notice it's still got carburetors on it. Link is obviously a engine management system. We're only using half of it. So my question was, well, what am I bringing to the table if I'm gonna jump into this, if I'm still gonna have carburetors on it? Because as much as I would like to go fuel injection with nitrous, it's a cool thing, but we're talking about, you know, injectors, throttle bodies when I already had this stuff. And they said, no big deal. There's all this capability with it for the ignition side of it, for power management, traction control, individual coils, um, you know, with a, with a nitrous motor, you'll find some cylinders are happier than others at different timing levels. So, you know, you can do it a number of different ways. MSD has their way to do it, but individual coils is definitely the most effective and the fastest. So yeah, the, and I'm, I'm barely, barely scratching the surface on this. I'm, I'm not a, a computer guy. I'm not a, I'm not a, an electrical guy. Um, so, you know, anytime I build something, I've had a couple guys have helped me with some tuning and they've been able to build me these tables that I can work with in, not coming from a computer background. So, I mean, I can, I can put nitrous ramps in it, timing ramps in it, and they built me this, just this one page that I can work within. And then when they want to modify something, they go into the hundred other pages and they start building me different stuff. Um, but like, you know, I added a dump valve to the transmission and um, Forrest got me, on, got me on the phone and we were able to program that and he showed me, you know, I, I, can, I can manage that myself now. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're just getting started with traction control. Uh, Jason programmed the G meter for me the other day. Um, I've, I've got drive shaft sensor in it now. That's something I've been new to this year. And there's some really cool data within that. So it's, it's an extreme ECU. Uh, we've got sensors everywhere. That was my question is really, what, what are we doing? And <laughs> they basically told me, if you want a sensor, just tell them, we'll, we'll put a sensor on it. So, and I'm, so I'm, a, I'm a transmission builder for a lot of these guys. So I'm all about charge pressure, line pressure, transmission temperature. So I said, cool, give me all the transmission sensors. Let's start there. I've got, I've got a map sensor on the thing. And for a nitrous car, that is really not relevant info. But hey, why don't we look at it? Okay, cool. So I'm, I got a sensor for pan vacuum. So if you look under here, it's got a vacuum pump on it. Okay. It pulls a constant crankcase vacuum when the engine's running. Pulls, it pulls about 16 inches. I know that because I got a vacuum sensor on it so I can see if something's wrong with the pump or you can actually tell if the motor's starting to hurt itself because of the tune-up. You'll watch the vacuum get weird because the rings will start to flutter and it'll not make as much vacuum. You can catch some stuff early because of that. Um, I've got O2 sensors in each collector, which with a nitrous motor, depending on who you ask is good info, but it's info. And then your basics, uh, obviously voltage, oil pressure. I've got fuel pressure on the carburetors and an individual fuel pressure sensor for each nitrous system. So we can monitor that down track. Um, water temperature. I think that I've finally got things, I got my head around enough here that I think that we can finally start using trash control. We can finally start getting to the point where, you know, he, he programmed the GME the other day and we're talking about tire shake and he tells me, well, you'll be able to see if it's starting to before you even feel it. And I thought, man, that's pretty cool. You'll see some lateral G when you shouldn't see it on a drag car. I was like, man, that's all right, that's cool.